Welcome to the video titled, The World of Color Therapy. If the title has caught your attention, then this may be the video for you. So stay tuned to find out just how powerful color can be and how it can transform your life for the better by incorporating more of it. In this video, I will be referring to The Secret Language of Color by Aina Sigal, as well as various articles that I thought were interesting and I hope you will as well. So let's jump right in. Did you know that color has been used for different effects and purposes among ancient civilizations? Color was utilized in antiquity, including by the Egyptians, the Greeks, the Chinese, and the Indian. Just like many institutions and businesses to today, they knew of the color, the power of color back then, only they took it to another higher level often associating and connecting certain colors with certain areas such as religion and culture. In modern times, somewhat different understanding has been attained in that chromotherapy, the other name for color therapy, can also be applied to treating physical or mental health. Although this idea is being studied more closely, it is not without resistance by the establishment who have little faith in these theories. But perhaps what most of us can acknowledge, regardless, is that we notice how differently a red room, for instance, can affect us compared to a gray or blue space. How about you? Do you agree? Now, despite the gap in research due to lack of funding to study this topic, some evidence does exist about the effectiveness of light therapy, for instance, uh, on a type of depression in associated with decreased sun exposure during the fall and winter seasons, called seasonal affective disorder. If you've ever dealt with an interior designer, you'd see that they recommend paint colors to achieve moods that are desired by their clients. Some colors bring you calm and others more energy. And so, I will explore Aina Segal's The Secret Language of Colors so you can have a better understanding of the various attributes of colors and how we can connect them to our psyche and our lives. I've recently started using these cards and find them enlightening. Segal suggests, connect to a part of your body that is feeling some tension. Do this by placing your hands on that part of your body and breathing into it. Ask that part of your body to show you what color would be most helpful with healing this condition. When you sense or see the color, write it down. Ask if there is any color which can make the healing occur faster, then write down that color. Often two colors or more can work together powerfully. You can also place the two cards on the part of your body to expedite the healing. Unquote. There are 45 color trait descriptions in Ina Segal's card collection, and here are a few of them, again quoting from her guidebook. The color green. Green revitalizes your nervous system, heart, circulatory system, and liver, lowering blood pressure and releasing frustration and anger. Meditation and healing are enhanced by green, which also stimulates growth and is good for healing broken bones. The color or shade gray. Gray identifies blockages in your body or aura and providing information about your mental, emotional, and physical state. Use gray to give you an alternative point of view and provide you with the strength when dealing and ch with challenging situations that you feel hopeless about. The color yellow. Yellow assists with purification, treating diabetes and cleansing the intestines and bowels. Ease arthritis, release toxicity, and clear your skin with yellow. As the color of intellect and mental, mental stimulation, yellow can also help you to think more, think more clearly. Purify your digestive system with yellow rays of light. The color pink. Pink is the energy of unconditional love. 
opening your heart and helping to heal heart problems. It assists with releasing emotional challenges and brings tranquility. Pink also helps with insomnia and manifestation of dreams. Open your heart with delicate pink colors. The color blue. Blue activates your healing powers, increases vitality, and has a calming effect when people feel nervous, manic, or overexcited. It also contains antiseptic qualities that heals burns, stops bleeding, and relieves fevers. Blue can also increase your metabolism. Hopefully I've given you some clue as to what color therapy and the language of color is about, as well as some light on how color can be applied to a range of facets of your personal and professional life. And what I'd like to know is what your, are your favorite colors and why, and whether you've ever used the secret language of color cards yourself. So the time has come for me to sign off on this video. Have a good one, everyone. Ciao.